Hello, my name is Chris of Chris Must List. Now, before the commencement of today's video, I would like to really have an opportunity very quickly to jump into your mind and your heart. I met some incredible people today in what is known as one of the more dangerous spots here in Belize City. And I believe if we come together as a community and you guys make some very small donations, uh, we can help this community out, okay? The, the master plan is to fix their park, to buy them some balls, get their basketball court back up and running, get some basketballs, and get a few pools. So if you guys enjoy today's video and, and you, you have the opportunity and the heart to give a little bit of money, you'll find a link to the GoFundMe account. I really don't think this is going to cost too much to, to not only fix the park and, and give the children a place to to grow up in, in and to play like children should um it's also going to provide hope these kids right now have very little and i think together we can come as a community and and, and i'm going to be in belize for another four days so if this works quickly and we can get donations in that means i can actually participate in get some some paint and some paint brushes and actually help put the community together so once again look deep down within your heart you'll find a link to the gofundme account if you can donate any amount is grateful uh and know that every single penny is going to go towards fixing helping fix the community that is less privileged here in belize city so uh let let the video begin and hopefully hopefully you're willing to help so when i ask people on the street of belize what is the most dangerous neighborhood uh, they gave me three different names and jungle was one of them. So here I am I thought I would come and walk and talk and figure out for myself if it's really true Often it's not the case. You know, there are good and bad people anywhere and everywhere in the world So I'm just gonna explore this neighborhood see what it has to offer So welcome to Jungle here in Belize City You have children here? Yes, I have three kids do you fear the safety for your children yes. in this community? Yes, sir. Recently, I have been living here now. Well, I I grew I grew up here in the jungle area. We call it they call it the jungle area, but this is the pig stock area. I have been living here for all of my life, and I recently moved back because I was living in the front page, and a guy came to my house and he killed a man right in front of me and my two two weeks years old daughter. So I had to move from in front there to come back here for the safety yep. but here is not safe as well but what i'm telling you is people is coming into your home that you think is safe and they're just shooting they don't care if female or kids is in the house i mean that is what we're Cold going buddy. through and that was what we're coping to with this you know and we can't do nothing we can't help ourselves here in belize we just have to live and I said, what, what would you say the most dangerous neighborhood is? It's and they say go to jungle. No, the jungle no, is nothing. No. This is, they give me a list of three or four different places. This is, this is the what they call the jungle. But yeah. no, because you got people come from all different type walks of life. Yes. From all different areas. They come and they do their bullshit here and then yeah. back here get the name. Yeah. Yeah. But not that the shit go down here. Yeah. You understand? They go and then, you know, probably cops running after them. They come back yeah. this way and then you hear that they back a jungle and they hide back and a jungle and... They are not from here. They are not from here. So you're saying they didn't born and grow here. They just come. The, 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 the ones that have been doing this shit, there's not people from around here. Yeah. Because we don't tolerate I can that tell, shit. I can tell this. Right away, I can tell this. How you got you the, the mentality that you don't around no, here. I mean, no, You're I the mean, boss. No, no, I, I what do they call you? <laughs> Supervisor, inspector. Huh? Yeah. I can see her sitting right here on the stoop no, making sure no, nothing happens. No, You're not coming no, no, in this no, neighborhood. I, no, but I, 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 I'm just keeping it real. Yeah. Keeping it real. Authentic. You understand? And you know, because I have some, some parents around here. Yeah. Right? That, like what I'm saying, really and truly do need a lot of assistance. Yeah. Like, what, what is the hardest problem of living here in jungle? Well, to be honest, the hardest thing is to, like, say, to, like, from a day-to-day -day basis, to be honest, you understand? Yeah. Because without, the day -to -day, without a job, or, like, say, go out there looking for a job or a different thing to do, you won't make it, to be honest. So you have to have a job. And our parent, I work for a home. Yeah. Right now, I have to go back in, but at the hotel, but at the I end won't of tell the day, anybody. <laughs> you understand? But at the end of the day, I work hard for my two, and yeah. if you're not How old work, are your kids? 
what my oldest is eight years old gonna be nine and the youngest is one gonna be two yeah i don't want any more to be honest but at the end of the day they're mine i love them till death and i'll do whatever it takes to that's good fend for them you understand so that's why i cannot see myself without a job i, I keep with a job when i my, my mom could tell you when i don't have a job i frustrated that's your mom yes that's okay, my mom okay, i'm frustrated okay. when i don't get a job yeah not everyone is like that. A lot yep. of people can live life without a job. No, I can't. Not you. I cannot. I cannot, Miss Albert. I cannot. I would lie. Yeah. God bless. Can't do yes, sir. Guys. Yes, sir. So how far back God does this jungle go? Right. Like this? Are these houses jungle here? No. 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 no, 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 no just right this. Here. So it looks fairly small. Right in this perimeter right here. So how many people do you think live in jungle? I would say roughly, let me see. Wait, 16... 33. So everybody must know each other. It's a small yeah, community. Yeah. And then the point is that you have to, um, the kids, because, you know. Men How many kids live in the, in the 33 apartments? In the 33 yeah. apartments? Over 100 kids, I'll be honest. Yeah. Over 100 kids. Over 100 kids. Over 100 kids. Over 100 kids. Over Let me ask you a question. I need you to be honest. Is that out of boredom? Children? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, w I, won't, I won't know, to be honest. You don't know? That's out of boredom. <laughs> I won't know, but to be honest, mine too was planned, so I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I noticed this that in different eight communities. Was, uh, that she planned all eight. <laughs> she planned all she eight. She had all of them. All eight, she planned it. <laughs> Let me ask you. You know all their name and ages yeah, in order? That's right. I'm just messing with you. Of that's, course you know. That's the smallest one right that's there. The Hello. One. <laughs> so what should I see if I want to document... Uh, this area, what should I see? Just walk around? Yeah. What's the best thing we to see? Walk around with you yeah, just walk around. You guys know everybody. Yeah. Well, these are all the apartments there. So they're fairly small. This is an yeah, apartment big, from here to here? No, no, two bedroom. Each one of them is two bedroom. Okay, and one washroom? No, just, a, just two bedroom and a bathroom. And a bathroom? Two bedroom and a bathroom. Okay. Okay, there's a basketball court. Yeah, this is a basketball What's this court. over here? A kitchen. No, they, no, somebody lives here too. Oh, okay, okay. So beyond this wall, we're no longer in jungle. No. What's the name of the other neighborhood? That, that, that's the um, new, um, new road. That, that's a normal street. That, that, that's if you come all the way from the police station. Yeah. And, and you come up this way. Then you have this lady right over here that lives here. Miss Brenda, she lives here all her life too. You think we could talk to Miss Brenda? You think she'll, she'll tell I us a story? Think so. I see Gaza there, Gaza. I, I just told you a while ago about the people that come around and do all type of shit. Yeah. Yeah, I just told you about that. Miss Brenda. I'll be right back in one second. What is this? Barracuda? Yeah. You caught this yourself? No. No? It's on job. Where'd you get it? No. Where, did, where did it come from? One of my neighbors, the king of Well, he's out fishing with a fishing rod? No, he's not fishing. He's just gonna buy it. Oh, he bought it. Mm -hmm. How much does something like this cost? I don't even know the price. This is a barracuda. Yeah. What is this? King. King. Kingfish. It's popular here in Belize to eat this? This man. So what is your job? Just to clean it? Yep. I like fishing. Yeah. For sport. You're from here, what they call jungle? Yeah. Right for you. I'm here to document jungle for the day. Mm -hmm. I'm from Canada. Yeah. And how will they prepare this and cook this? On the barbecue? Barbecue, Yeah. Yeah. Put in a bailet. All right, my friend, thank you. Right. So, just walking around here, jungle. Everybody seems very nice thus far. Hello. What's your name again? Chris. Chris. Chris from Canada. Well, this is Miss Brenda. Miss Brenda, Brenda, you're famous in the community. Hello. She spoke highly of you. How long have you lived right here? Hmm. 39 years. 39 years? 
What did it look like 39 years ago? Can you remember? Well, it was different. Yeah? But like for what? Give me an example. The basketball court wasn't here. No, no, no. What was here? It was a swing, slide. Uh, these used to be board. A big board. What do you mean board? Board building. Board like this. Oh, like made yes. out of wood. Yeah, yeah. 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 In, okay. uh, those one concrete, all these stands. Right. So things look different. It look different. What about the people, people here? Different. Different people and a lot of people, you know, right now. It's it's, uh, I'll put it like this. I'll, you know, in a, like a deplorable condition, some people. Before? Or no, now? Right now. No. Yeah. No, right now. So you think it's got worse over yeah. the last 39 yeah, it sure years? Does. It sure does. It sure Are does. there other people that have been here that long or just you? No, no, no. 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 You got a lot of people. A lot of people. Ah. You got a lot of people. Wow. A lot of people. You must have a lot of stories over 40 years living here. Well, I, like I tell you, I, I, I'll be 64 and I've been here all my life. Yes. Yeah, You've been here 64 years? Yes. You were born here. I was yeah. born here. In this neighborhood. In this same wow. neighborhood. I've been here at 60 years old. Wow. Yeah. So you both must have many stories. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me? I'm a newcomer here. I've only been here a few minutes. What can you tell me about jungle? Well. It's gotten a bad reputation. It's gotten a bad? Yeah. Yeah, tell me more. Yeah, well, yeah, You're eating. I don't want to interrupt you. No, no, but like what, like what I keep telling him, yes, I told My friend. him before about the reputation. Chris. But like what I keep telling him, Leroy. it's not nice the people you, from that live behind here. Nah. It's not the people get, from got, back we here. Got a bad, we, get, we get a bad rap for our neighborhood. We have good people in this neighborhood. We have good people, excellent people in this neighborhood. Um, the thing is, we don't get, I would say, maybe, we don't, they don't look upon us as, uh, with favor. You understand it? Oh, that's jungle. That recognition we don't get. Yeah, yeah. You see that? Oh, they're jungle. They, they, they no good. That's it. That's it. Nah, we have good people here. We have. Education. But that must hurt your feelings. Sure. Huh? sure. If you, if you're oh, yes, born here and you live sure. here, yes, it does. you have respect. Three of us born in this, born right yeah. here. We didn't. We weren't born in a hospital. We were born in the yeah. houses that we used to live in. You understand? Born Never right left. Here. Always Never remained left. here. But I, I have left, but. These then guys no. have stayed. And I can tell you're a hard-working man. Well, I try. When I when I felt your handshake, I'm like, that's a handshake of a hard-working man. Yeah, I do. I get up every day. I work six days a week. Six that's work days ethic. Six days I get up and I work. Um, but if, if they would spend a little time in here, get to know us, help us out, give us something that we can work with so that we can uplift the neighborhood and bring it to... Their classification, yeah. we do good. Yeah. We do good. Could I tell you, so I've been now 121 countries. Uh -huh. And I don't go to the beach. When I come to a country, I ask them to give go me the, to the, hood. the three most dangerous neighborhoods. So <laughs> I can prove me. them wrong. Yeah. So I can show them that, you know, yesterday we went to the swamp. Mm -hmm. Where the people live with next to nothing. Yeah. And I met so many wonderful people. Huh? Not, not bad people. You see, the point is it. It's not the. I it, it, it's a, so, I yes, we do know we all live in a certain type of condition, but not not because we live in that condition. We're supposed to behave like Animal. where we live, right? Because we are human beings and we know about love. You understand? Know but you got people that class the neighborhood as bad, but it's not the people from back here. It's not us, like I keep telling yeah. you. Yeah. You understand? It's not us. Being but even the this. community society, aspect. Society labels us. Yes. And it's hard for us to... To break because, that. Yeah. It's hard for us to break that classification that they are giving us. You know? And this isn't just by our time. This is before our time. Before us three yeah. here. That the classification is this neighborhood being... Oh, that's a bad neighborhood that's been here from in the 50s. Yeah, but like what I'm... But like, just like what I say, he, it's get, it get worse. Yeah. Because, like, we just don't have absolutely no yeah. type of recognition. Yeah. Well, you know, the exciting part. This little camera is going to share this with the world. And who knows, hundreds of thousands of people are going to see it so we can break the stereotype yeah. one video at a time. Because yeah. I'm here to show the positivity. Yeah. Right? I came here because of negativity. This is what people told me. But I don't believe people. That's why I come to these kind of places. So yeah. what do you hear right? about? What do you hear well, about? Well, I asked on the street in Belize City. 
what are the three most dangerous neighborhoods in Belize City? And Jungle was the first one. They didn't say it was mm. the most dangerous, but they said it's one of three neighborhoods. They said the south side, then there was another one, I don't recall the name, in Jungle. So that's why I'm here. To I prove to myself that it's not true mm -hmm. and to share with the world. The thing is, the thing is, compared to the rest of this city, the jungle is boom. paradise, I would say. Yeah. Place. Paradise. So yeah. let me ask you a question. You've lived here forever. Do you have any sense of danger or fear living here? No. When you walk outside. No. And you walk me? outside. No. Yeah. You don't fear anything. Not no. from no one around here. Yes. Not from no one around But are there here. times when other neighborhoods come inside? I mean, yes. 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 There might be. Then. Yes. Then. But the type of work that I do, I go up from all, I go neighborhoods. all around. All so around. what is the biggest problem living here? What about the structurally, the house? I oh, see some holes man. in the house. Yeah. Mm. That's the, floor. the floor. Yeah. But what is the biggest problem living here? No help. No, no help. help. Government, no The government, help. let no me explain. Help. This neighborhood here, one government, one party has won this neighborhood from creation. The other one can't make a dent in here. So the one that wins it have it covered so they don't do anything. The one that loses it can't break it, break into it so they don't do anything when they win. So mm -hmm. we're we're in a status quo that is not healthy or helps us. You understand? One party has us as oh. Oh, we can win this regardless of what. The other one is, they we don't can't need win this, we can't win this, so we're not going to waste our time. Right. So we're in a, we're in a no win situation here. The forgotten people. That's why yeah. the poverty level is so high. Here. Yeah. The, what is the uh, level? The poverty, poverty, level poverty level is so yeah. high. And you think it's higher here than the rest of Belize City? All, o all over. Well, Belize is... All yeah, over. Well, all you, over look, you, you've said you work six days a week. Can you give me an idea? What is the salary for six days a week? I won't say. Approximately. I won't say. No. Okay. Well, well, I'm um, here to learn. Yeah, I know, but I I am in a different category. So not you, people. not yeah. you. But, but I'm saying the average person that works six days a week. The average person here, they just raise the minimum wage from three fifty thirty or something like that to five dollars. So an hour. An hour. Okay. So that is what that is what it is killed now. Is that enough to survive? Hell no. no. For I don't know long, the cost of life. For how long would that you right. ask? That question shouldn't be, is it enough to survive? It should be Prosper. how long do yeah. you survive on that? Yeah. You understand? If you want to put on If 250 uh, an hour would last you two days. Two days? Yeah. With, See, to me, it's only my second day, so I don't know yeah. the cost of living inflation, here. Inflation right. right now is completely out of the stratosphere. In Belize, it's yeah. it's outrageous. So let me ask you a basic question: Are there days where you go with no food? Yeah, I don't. What about the average people here? Yes, yes. they do. They go without yeah. food. Yes, and they have they, no one to turn to where they can they say. Would, they would no. come. They would come to a neighbor and say, "Do you have like maybe Miss B might have today?" There would be some people who come and say, "Some kids around here come." I see them come here and they say, "Hungry, um, uh, Miss B." You want me to go, go back and bucket of water and things and stuff because what can I do to help? Pipe there. They yeah. will go and do something and I don't want to give me a plate of food. Yeah. You understand? So there are, there are kids here that do not eat regularly, do not get three meals a day. Yeah. You understand? There are adults who don't get three meals a day. That's here. a fact. I do. Yeah. You yeah. understand? Sometimes there are adults here so who don't get three meals a day. Show me around. Maybe there might yeah. be someone. Okay, this is the kitchen. Can... Yeah. This is probably this is the bathroom. You see, this is a hole. Look at the hole in the wall there. The hole in the wall. Yeah. Yeah. This is the bathroom. Yeah, for sure. Oh, he is naked. I don't want to go inside. <laughs> There's the bathroom. Okay. Then, then this is the uh, what we would call. Do you have to worry about things coming inside the house? Hell yeah. Like what? Scorpion. You know, no, not no, scorpions, no scorpion. rats. Rats. Yeah. <laughs> Which is worse than the scorpions. Yeah? Yeah. Then you got to the back here. You see? And I guess this is what she's telling you. Wait a minute. See? This is what you see. So this is a bedroom? That's, yes. That's Hello. a bedroom. And this is uh, not a bedroom, but you see, no door. Oh, shit. There's no way. There's yeah. nothing stopping. Yeah. So how many people sleep on this bed here? Sorry. 
four. Four people. Mm -hmm. Shh, you wouldn't want to sleep next to me. You know me. <laughs> Oh, and I kick and I punch like a ninja. I have a grandson that do that. <laughs> so I don't understand. Show me where four people sleep. Just all. What, there? And when it rains. Yeah, and mm -hmm. there I go the window right over there too. And there's no view. Your no, view is of a no, brick wall. No. So like what I told you, the, uh, the perimeter stops right there. What is this? Kids writing on the mm -hmm. on the ceiling. Yeah. And what about this room? How many people sleep here? Two. Two people. It's just a promise and a prayer here, man. Yes. Mm -hmm. For the people of Belize City that told me I'm crazy, walking around jungle here by myself, what do you have to tell them? Hell no. No, nothing for me to be worried about. N what's there to worry about? Especially when I'm with the boss. That's right! <laughs> <laughs> uh. No, I have nothing. Look, I'm good. I'm not scared. No goosebumps. Nothing. Why I feel. I feel right at home. I heard you've lived here your entire life. Yes, sir. And do you know the boss here? Oh yes. She's oh, a good. Oh. She's a good person. Yes, she's a nice person. I can tell she's a nice person. I see. I see you're religious. I see the Last Supper. I see Jesus back there. Yes. How sir. important is religion to you? Oh, important. Yeah. Ten days ago. Jesus is good. He's All good and great. Yes. Tell me. You open doors. Yes. Oh, sure. So how important is religion in your life right now? Oh, it's important, really important, because my mom and dad used to take us to church. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Oh, I can't stop praising him. Yeah. He's good. All the time, God is Yes. Good. And what would you say to the people that told me that this is amongst the most dangerous neighborhoods oh, no. in Belize City? Back here, it's not dangerous. Ooh, I live back here all my life, and see, I am still good and... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because she's about, no. about 60, what now? 66. All right, you see? I have no problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you seen things change here over the years, the decades? Well, yes. Not sure. Well, we well, only have outside, as they the killing, what's going yeah. on, no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, for example, because we talked about it, that maybe people from the outside come here. Yes, yes. How I often would you say there's a crime committed on the land here in jungle? No, well, no, 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 not so often. Not but, so okay, often. take yourself out of the picture that you guys are slightly older women. Mm -hmm. For the children, let's say the teenage boys here, mm -hmm. do they have something to fear growing up in this community? Yes, like to be know. influenced by gangs or yes, yes. they do, yes. they do, they yes. do, yes. they do. And and as mm -hmm. elders, why don't you tell me what do you think the best solution to keep them off the streets and keep them positive? Well, talk to them. Not well, you yeah. See, just yeah, advise yeah. them. No, yeah, we need to advise them. them but do you have any advice? What what could the world or the government Probably do? Need to maybe something yeah. that they could open up. Wow, wow. Center, something Center that they allow different trade and different deal. things and to keep their mind occupied. Yeah, you understand me? And, and by doing that, not just, but then you have to probably do some kind of assistance to them. Because remember, they have family and they have That's to true. eat, and that, and that is what causes a problem when people can't find. But I think food. boredom, boredom is often a problem. Yeah. If you're a young boy mm -hmm. growing into manhood, and you're just sitting here with no opportunity, it might cause you yes. yep. to do something you might not want to. Yeah. I, I, I have a grandson and a great grandson. Oh, every day I talk to them. Yes. Yeah. Yes, but they are good, no? Yeah, good boys yeah, yeah, growing yeah, up because yeah. I keep them in. I yeah, they don't come play out at all. Yes. She and I see. talk to them. And it, one seventeen and one eleven. See, seventeen is at that age where they yes, can be. He's, he's good and he's quiet. Not, he's yeah. Quiet. He don't, he stay in the past year and like he don't even know you because he don't bother not with people. Sure. Yeah. He don't even yes. bother with you. Yeah. He, he not like talking. You know, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen year olds that I can talk to here, so I can hear from them what their perspective is. No, you don't want to talk. You got some of them as. Uh, well, we gotta we'll go this way. See. Probably we find one or two of them this Thanks way. Very much, okay, then, Miss Radia. All the time, darling. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. So, what is this area used for here? Like, I see these tarps. Yeah, well, Anything in particular? No, not really in particular. No. 
Not and the electricity? Oh no, this is just for the to dry yeah, dry yeah, your clothes. Yeah, okay. Put your clothes on to dry. Here is, and this is what I am. This is the condition of some of the apartments then that I, you know, that I talk about. Yes. Yeah. This, well, she's she's one of them that live right here too. She and her brother, um, you know. What's so, what's sold here? What is she selling? Uh, tamales, dukuno, and stuff like that. Okay. Let's take a look if we can. Yeah, but she's not. Uh, she's from out this way. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you sell a lot of these in the neighborhood? Can I see what the tamales look like? Yes. What? You're making them yourself? Mm-hmm. How much is it for one? Two fifty. Two fifty. And then the dukuno is what? And what is this? Two? No, the dukuno with me that two dollars. Oh, two. Okay. And where do you live? You live far away? Mm -hmm. I won't finish, I won't go home. I have one baby wedding and um, breast. Yeah, breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. I don't finish it for seven. I so you don't finish it. until you're done? These are the canoe with meat. Yeah. And then the plain one. Okay, let's do it. We buy the whole thing and give it away to some people here. Uh, okay. So how much for um. everything? And tamales are 250. I have That's to not the problem. Count how much? Yeah, to total okay. the whole thing. It was a total of everything. So you can go home. Right there, I have 18 tamales in the bucket. Okay, uh, these are plus eight. These are eight, right? Mm -hmm. Plus eight. Right there, I have four dollars to come. Four, okay, these are four dollars to come too. These are four dollars too. These are another four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is two dollars. So sixty-three. Sixty-three dollars. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, but I need the tamales now. Why come put? Huh? You don't go have a bag? I have only put. I have small bags. I have. Here, we got people that we can give it. Come. Come. Send out some. Upale. Fiesta. Look, there's 70. You can keep it. Okay. okay thank you. Glad to see you. You're welcome. Ah. Ah. What is this? <laughs> I'm curious. Teach me. Teach me what this means. What is this? What does this mean? Tell me. Put up this one for my You gotta tell me, is it good? You gotta taste it and tell me. Before she leaves. Because if not, we need the money back. No, it goes. It's good? Tell me. Let's go, okay. Hey, oh. So you're outside every day selling. Have you ever sold everything like this? No. I'm the first one. I like this. You didn't tell me yet. Come on. What is this? Teach me. Teach me Belizean. Let's go. Let's go. I think there's a different meaning to it. I don't, I don't, I don't, think, I don't think the big boss is being honest with me. Come, come, come. I don't want to say that on TV. Let the kids get, get something. We do it for the kids. Why? Yeah, don't be shy. Why? Why did the tomorrow come out late? Thank you, Mom. Thank you. You're welcome. Give that wife a food. Give that wife a food. I should have said it in Spanish. De nada. It's better, right? Let me hold something. I can work too. Okay. What do you want me to do? Whatever, whichever one you want to hold. Well, now you give me one. <laughs> You're doing all the work here. She wants to show me her brother's house here. Yeah, but if she, um, if she, if she, if she can't get inside. Oh, you can't get inside, only outside. She can't get inside. Would you like some? That's what I'm getting the tamales. She says she wants tamales. This is the tamales. Okay. It's a different. Yeah, two of the dokuno? You have to get one of the dokuno. Okay. One. Like yeah, you can take the bag there. No, no, take the bag there. Yeah. 
Smells oh, okay. good. This is your son. He looks older than you. Oh my goodness. Huh? Son, talk to me. No, no men have talked to me yet. I came, I came here to jungle. Mm -hmm. To document. To document. Yeah, what do you want to know? I don't know. What can you tell me? What can you teach me? I'm walking around with the boss here. The boss can explain to you everything. I'm but I need, a, I need a man's, needs, oh, a man's oh, perspective. Yeah, need okay. something from a man too. Here's the, when I, I've, I've only been in Belize two days. Yeah. And when I walked through the neighborhood, I said, what are the three most dangerous areas? Yeah. In jungle, they said it's number one. Not number one, but it's one of the three. Yeah. So I came here to prove them wrong. I came here to show that there's wonderful people. Yeah, we do, we do have wonderful people. Every, every era has bad people and good people, you know? Yes. But we just try to come together and try to understand each other and try to cooperate with each other so we don't have to cause problems against each other, okay? So yeah. basically, it's just more jobs need to be created, more opportunities, yes. and it's going to be a peaceful era. See, the thing is, when I ask uh, a lady about the problems, they might not understand the man, the younger the man's problem. side of the story. So that's why I need to hear from a man. Because they told me over here is a real gang problem. But every woman here has told me, no, no gang problem. Because that's the only way we can make money. Yeah. So if they create more jobs, more opportunities, more schooling. Yeah. Even if they build a building here to teach the younger folks, it will be a better society for yeah. all of us. And what about day-to-day -day activity here? Well, like what I said, if they have no job, no... Just they, hang around. Just hang around and get idle so, you know? If you're not making any money, you get frustrated, especially if you have a family, you can't feed them, you get frustrated, you got to find a way and to feed them. And as a man, them. a man feels yeah. like that, that's the rule. I have kids at home. Yeah. And I'll tell you, if I was put in that predicament, I would do the same thing. I feel like a man's job is to, to provide. Yeah, so that's true. But the era rep just need to understand, come around, give more jobs, find more things to do. The park need to get paint, rebuild. You understand the pipe, they need to fix the time, the court need, need nets. Can we can you show stuff. can you show me this park? The park is right. Yeah, but I mean can you walk me there and show me? The same park that uh, by yeah. Albert there, right? My friend, would you like some of this? We just got some. Um, that only, only I don't want it, I'm out of What's inside this? Oh uh, this we call uh, it the it's, it's like like corn. My, it's, like, it's corn and chicken mix. Corn know? and chicken, okay. Yeah. okay we're going this it's way from back. a Maya, Maya dish. Sir, sir. We're going back this way. You know what? When I, I put this video together, maybe yeah. this park in the basketball court could be a good reason for the world to come together. It wouldn't cost too much to fix this up and get it painted. It's small. Right, guys, maybe us watching this can, can make a difference in this community. The park itself is very small. And what do you think? Just paint and it's just to be some paint. swings? It's, it's, it needs to be cut down. The grass needs to be cut down. Yes. Some stone needs to get put here so the grass don't grow back. And it needs some swings. It needs to be well back. It's, 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 it's some work. But I mean, it's a small park. It's a small park. And maybe we can employ some they people from finish, the neighborhood. Finish, fence it up so when they play football, it doesn't go over, over. you know? Yeah. yeah. Did you grow up here in the neighborhood? Yeah, I grew up right here. Do you find things getting better or worse? It's, it's, to be honest with you, it's getting worse because look there, there's so many garbage. They, they can't even put a garbage can here so people can dump garbage. But does the here. government come to clean up or no? They, they come to clean up, but it doesn't make sense. Why come to clean up if you can resolve the issue? Yeah. You can put two big garbage, garbage thing, garbage can so that people can put garbage there. Yeah, this is not a way to grow yeah, up like yeah. this. Yeah, and the scent, it creates a scent. And I think if people in the neighborhood see this, they're more inclined just to add to it. Yeah, they just throw the it. shit on the ground. The grass needs to be cut. Need to be cut. The um, stones need to be to be placed on. You know the swings. But I mean, I don't think it needs that much work. I really don't. It's a small area. Yeah. It's small. Here is the court. Here is the um, park, and we have the court over on the other side. The basketball, the basketball court. Yeah, court I saw the there. basketball court. What do you think the basketball court needs? It just needs paint and like nets for it, and you need some good basketball. Yeah. That's because nothing. here we play basketball here. We we, we love yeah. to play basketball here. So. Yeah. Are there other men, teenagers that I can talk to? Yeah, there are. There are others. I didn't see anybody it's, it's, out when we're walking. The sun is hot, so they're not staying out inside. There. But do you know anybody that I could talk to? Hello. Well. So the kids right now, what do they have to do for fun? Oh. What do you guys do yeah, for fun? They don't have much. They just 
they just walk around. Just they don't, they don't have much because the park is not fixed. Yeah. And when they do fix the park, they, so let me ask you: if we fix the park, would you play in the park? You need some balls, right? And toys? Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me see if I can get it. Hey, Hama! Hama! What do you think the most difficult part of living here is? Getting a job. Yeah. So I was talking to the, la the ladies, and that's why I wanted a younger man's perspective, is what else is difficult besides the job factor? Going places. Like where? Any, any, any other surrounding yeah. because are the fear of the fear of the, the gangs. That, 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 that so if you went into a different community, you would have to worry about yourself because you're coming from outside. That's right. So yeah, not gang related. You're not gang related, no. but you still have to worry. Still have to worry because, because are they, because where you're from. Yeah, people still brand new as that. And it's not even far, it's like just blocks away, like you will have one Some areas small, in the some like areas in the city is just a fence separate those gangs. I've seen this all over the world. You know in Haiti, if you live in this house and you live in this house, you'll kill each other. Just because you were born in the house. No fence, no separation. But this side of the road is against this side of the road. But as as men, what my th thoughts are, there's nothing to do here. And there's poverty and there's no jobs. Is it difficult not to join a gang? No. It's not difficult. To join a gang is the easiest thing, I guess. No, but it's that that I, I agree it's easy to join a gang. Is it difficult not to join? Meaning is it difficult for you to fight the temptation to join a gang? Yeah. Because the gang is like the easier way out. No? You see they got people that put you in gang so like from the time and it's somebody from the next block would I want like hurt you or something even the police behave like this you go in with your block no you are one turn the other way to you are one hurt he back for where he want to hurt you too and then yeah. right so turn a gang member easy would you say that jungle is one of the most dangerous parts of Belize city that's why I came because they, they labeled it as dangerous no. You have no concern living here. Your only concern is going to a different neighborhood. Yes. Do you go outside though? Do you go to different communities? We, we could go. Yeah. In our bunch we would play football. As a group? We could go there. We could go how we want. Yeah. They have, so we friends want to play football. They don't want to care about no way. Yeah. So, if, 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 we, if we go somewhere with we friend. I don't want her to be friends. We can't watch that. Of course not. So, eventually, they yeah, brand new right there so. Because we are different we friends. And then they say, oh, such a such a bad man now. So now, we can't go that a black you know, because we help different we friends. Right. For something when they start. Right. So we just, we just to, to avoid that, just not go that way. Then. Stay away. Then I see, rest in peace. What is this? My grand. Your grandmother? Grandmother. Yeah. Me too. I have my grandmother. My whole chest for my call grandma Nana. For my Nana. What do you think the future holds for you guys? The future for me? Yeah. Well, do I interview my ten, like, ten years from now, are you gonna be living here in jungle? Support me. I had to try. Well, me, ten years I know how to try. Look for get out. But and what me, is it gonna take for you to get out? Just continue stay focused. Yeah. And the same way how I try. Yeah, the youth stuff is their focus on now getting in a gang world. I can't play ball. I try to show them. You don't have to be bad man to get out of your hood. If you stay focused in your school or football, they always go next way out. Yeah. So I try to teach them that way out. What about you? The future, what does it hold for you? I see my future, very my future. Yeah, it's important to have goals. You know, to set goals, small achievable goals that you can move forward. But it must be difficult waking up and looking outside here. This is a, a, a part of the world that people don't realize, and that's why I filmed this on video. Now, if you were to apply for a job, where do you go? Outside in the community. There's no jobs here in the community, right? Uh, Nothing. On the gas station, like, where we are working. Oh, you work at the gas station? Yeah. Okay. 
Where else can I see? What else can I walk to? I guess that's about it. There's no way else. We've seen everybody? Yeah. That's about it. Here, I'll give you, take a picture. And then tonight I'm going to put up on YouTube. How long have you lived here? These are people that have been living here all their lives. Everybody I've asked, <laughs> they've lived here their whole yeah, life. Yeah, but it's a fact. They ain't lying. They're telling the truth. Yeah. Go in. Yeah. So it's just one room? Yeah. And the mattress comes down at night and you sleep? Yeah. Here. What is behind here? It used, used to be a bed right here, but I take out the bed before the bed get damaged by the water. In the water, when it rains, it comes. Yeah, from the side. We had comes a through. hurricane last year. In oh, yeah, you can see. The hurricane did a lot of damage. So tell me, what is the most difficult part living here in jungle? Not the most difficult part. Do you have opportunities? Do you have a? Can you get a job somewhere? Yeah, we, we have opportunities and stuff like that. But right now, the way whole thing set right now, like it's hard to get a job right now. So how do you eat? I use my people's and stuff like that. They send me money and stuff like that. Yeah. What about in the future? Where will I find you in 10 years from today? I'm not sure. But do you have a goal? I'm planning to go. I'm planning to go in the States. Well, thank you for bringing me inside. Look at this. You went to fishing? Yeah. You fish with this? We used to. One time my father was living. When's the last time you went fishing? Where do you fish on a boat or just oh, on the we, side? We just go on the side of the sea walls and stuff. And, and you catch something? I fish it with net and line. You catch, and you eat the food? Yeah. Or you sell it? I eat it. Eat it. I like fishing. That's I a that's fish. a big lure. Yeah, I have the net and everything. That must be a big. You have a WhatsApp number? Yeah. Can I get your number? Maybe we could go fishing before I leave. You can teach. You can teach me how to fish. With a net. Yeah. yeah, if you have what's up. You see where that, where we had to yes. put that rope there? That was where the kid had um, fallen. fallen. Wow. Yeah. That's quite a drop. Yeah. How old was the child? Well, it was, uh, she, it's about her age. And is the, the yeah. girl okay? She was okay by the grace of God, thank God. But she got some scar. Yeah. That, that she, oh, it's her. Oh, you fell. Yes. Are you okay? She, she fell. Yeah, about two weeks ago she fell. You okay? From up that veranda right there. She's too small. She's not talking yet. But yeah. wow, that's quite a drop. It's quite a drop. And thanks to God, she only got scrap. See, she got scrap. It's about two you're weeks a, ago. You're so a strong girl. Yeah. But the whole building is deteriorating. And yeah. we call all the government. And they came just look at the building and they... They don't, they forget about us. They don't care about us here in this big stock area. You see look, all the, the buildings. Middle. Look at the middle here. Yeah. Look at through that hole. This is dirty water. Yeah. Wow. The smell. Do you live yeah. here? Yeah. And you smell the. Yeah. And this is really bad for our kids. Yes. And it's not because they throw the dirt in here. If you, if you look at the beginning, they have an entrance. And when the dust and the rain and when it blows it blows and sell right here right so it's not that the people throw it in here you see look at the dirt bin yeah there's we've no been mess. complaining about this dirt bin and when people see people see that people say that the jungle people are dirty and nasty but they don't know our cry you yeah. see they don't know our cry we are asking for years and years to, for them to bring a dustbin here so that we can properly dispose of our garbage but no help do the, do the government come and, and take this? They no? come to take it, but they come to take it every other three days. Yeah. Three days. So it builds up. And um, it's not only this dirt that you're seeing here. It's not only the jungle community people. It's people from up all up around this area. They put but it looks like it's just the jungle community because we don't say anything when the people come in. You see when they, when the um, city council got the young lady there sitting down? Here is clear. Yeah. No dirt or nothing. All we're asking is for dirt bins for, so that we can have at least some dirt bins at our apartment each so that when the dirt truck comes, we can properly dispose of our garbage. And what about the park? The park has been there for years. We just re we recently fixed it ourselves. We had a project where we got some help from our friend Pinta. He's now in the U.S. 
but Please. we got an assistant. It's not from the government, but we, we the government promised that they would fix it for years. And now, if this was fixed, the kids would have somewhere to play. Yeah. What's this guy? Why is he dressed like this? Gary! <laughs> Gary! He drives on Belize like that. Okay. But he's for a, he's, he works in the tourist sites. Oh, he, he does it for cash, yeah. yeah. That's his living. Yeah, this is this is sad to see. Yeah. The garbage next to the playground. Yeah. This is where the children should yep. be playing. So with with, with my video going to go live today, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask my audience see if we can help. Yeah. And get this park and basketball up and running again, yeah. as it should. Yep. And we will really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. No, I'm do my little part to try yeah. to make the world a better place. Thank you. And this is a house as well. Yeah, this from Hurricane. This is how this lady's house has it's fallen. Been. And you see, boards holding it up. Yeah. She's afraid because that woman in there, she's about, she's a 50 year old, year old, old woman. Yeah. And look at what she's Could doing. Fall. Could fall at any time. They can't, we can't do better. I mean, we are poor. Yeah. We're trying to help ourselves, but. Seems like the government's forgotten about you. <laughs> the women that I talked to, they said, no, it's 100% safe. There's no... Nope, there's and, no and that's a lie. That's yeah. a lie. That's a lie because we have threats. We have threats here. We have people coming from all different areas, and they just come, and this is the calm that we have ever been in such a long time. I mean, this lovely lane, it's called lovely lane, but the amount of people that has been died, that has been shooting dead yeah. on this same this street, street here. I mean, it's it's not... It's not, if you go and do a research, you could see like three people has already dead on this lovely lane right here. Yeah. Got shot in the head. And it's other communities coming here? Yeah. 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 Why would they be coming here? Because they think it's a weak fence or, or something. Yeah. Because I, I don't know. I don't really know because I can't really tell you why they're, um, where they keep coming here. But all I am saying is we are all innocent people here. I mean, they don't. See us going out there killing people, you know, just go shutting up people for no reason at all. Yeah. But they come in our society and they, now this is what we are living with. They come, we don't know when they're coming, they just come, kill our loved ones, we bury our loved ones. They still send out threats, next two weeks they come again. They don't care. They don't care. It's not a way to live in, with fear. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for sharing your story. Two minutes. And I take on the job. The man said, "You want me to introduce her to Bob?" Hi, Miss Mavit. He said he wanted me to introduce you to him. Yeah. This is Auntie Barbara. Auntie Barbara, nice Everyone to meet you. Everyone knows her as Aunt Barbara. Barbara, you? <laughs> you're famous in the community. Yeah. Well. That's what the Lord said to do. I like this. I won't say really just holy, but I'm getting there. Yes. Now I see that the, the back side of your, your trailer is dipping down. It's down, sir, because right now, if I can go again, I can't stay in here. This is 28 years. You've been living in this trailer 28 years? Yes, sir. Wow. And what do you hope? That this could be fixed? I hope that this could be taped down and Rebuild over a new one. Yes. Because if it fix, it's worse. Okay. And you don't want to have to do repeating over and over and over. But what's the likelihood of that happening? Well, you have to give God the glory. Yes. And who's this little guy here? That's my grandson and that's my granddaughter. Yeah. Are you responsible for them? Yeah. They live here? Primo, yeah. All of us live here. Yes. Hello. His name is Zion. Zion, nice to meet you. What is the most difficult part of kids growing up in this community? Well, the most difficult part, they need a lot of assistance. Without the assistance, they can't do what they really would have want them to do, but we try our best to yes. make it happen. Because at the end of the day, they are our children, so we have to make the best for them because they have a future too. Yes. What are your, what are your hopes? For Zion here well, I in 10, want, 20 years from now. Well, I don't want to go, go to school. Yes. Go to six farm and get a nice job and motivate itself and help itself. Yes. 
being who he is supposed to be. But you have confidence. Well, you must. The Lord said, must have faith. Yes. Faith move any mountain. I like to say, faith does move any mountain. And with God, all things are possible. Amen. You said you're not very religious, but I feel you are. Well, you know, sometimes you get out the way and you do things you shouldn't do, but then that's life, right? You have to give account of your own self. No one on this earth should judge me, and I am no one to judge you, nor no one. Leave that to my God. He's awesome. I agree with you. You know, 10 days ago, where I was, I was in Bethlehem. Oh, mm. amen. Ten Why days didn't ago. you come for me and took me there? <laughs> Let the love Ten days poured ago. out more. And you know, there's very few people in the birthplace of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. because there's a war happening there right mm -hmm. now. Oh, well, we don't want any war in Belize. So people don't we go. We are grateful for the life we live in in Belize right now. Yes. Oh, but it could be better mm -hmm. with By far. assistance and upgrading of the people. People want to do the same thing you do, we want to do. Yes. You, we want to have you, a, you deserve it. We don't it. want a mansion. We all are asking for the best. Yes. Only the best is good Only enough. Only the best is good enough. Amen. That's a model for a school down here in Belize. Everybody needs a medal this school. Anything else you can share about this community? This is the world yeah, is watching. I can share about this community. I've been growing up in this community from my born and I'm going to be 59 years old in a few. And I thank God for the community because in any next community, we have a lot of peace back here. When time, anything happened, they have to come and disturb our peace, but we doesn't follow for their disturbance. We take it to the Lord in prayer. As I was telling you. Yes. So don't fire fire with fire, because you will both burn. And I don't want to be one of them to be burned. Mm -hmm. And I don't think the rest either, because God said, if he is for us, who can be against us? Amen. You should They're be a, only the righteous, right? You should be in front of an audience sharing these words. Yeah. yeah. The world is going to hear. You're, you have an audience today. I have an audience today. Today, this little white camera okay. here is okay. going to share that, your that, word. That's the good Lord work. Good Lord work in mysterious ways. Say hello to the world for me too. <laughs> You're saying hello Tell right now. Give a lot of love from Belize to wherever they may be. Pe people can feel, a, a, you know, authenticity. Okay. You're an authentic person, so and I appreciate your Anything talk. for Christ enthusiastically. Yes. Amen. You guys got to smile. Sister. Look, I'm sitting here. They told me don't go to jungle because it's dangerous. So I said, I'm kind of going to come to jungle. But no, and why, look, they, why jungle is dangerous? Look, I've had a smile my whole time. And you enjoy it, right? I love but it. take it back in peace. This is, jungle is peace. My friend, this is why I'm here. Thank you very peace. much. Peace. Okay, when will I see you again, my friend? You are welcome anytime. Man, I feel at home here. I feel oh, very, very okay. good. I feel a system, Hello. right? I feel good. Thanks for coming by. No, thanks for having me. Okay. Listen, Your before you go, what my goal is right now, we're going to publish this video today on the internet. And what I really want is my audience to come together and get this park cleaned up. Mm -hmm. Some balls for the kids, this all fixed, the basketball court. So at least there's a place... Where they can, safely where the children can, can play because right? we can't we can't tell. change the world no. but what we, we can, can do is little by little this is very people. important that's what god sent you here for yeah. a purpose i like this i feel the purpose it's a great pleasure meeting you thank you and me too take it in the, to the lord in prayer and give the peace to the world so i was just talking with kimberly and i think it's better to hear from her mouth well what i was telling him is that here in the jungle society, when the kids go out at the front page there where they call the fish market to go and have a little water bath in the sea, um, they have disturbance with the other people from the other societies. They come and they chase them. They threaten them with guns, with, with stones. So just so I understand, so just as simple as the kids wanted to go for a swim. They wanted to go for a you swim. You have to cross a different territory. Yeah, they had to go to a different territory to go and swim but it's impossible because of the crime rate. So what I was asking is, if you can you donate a two pool to the 
jungle society so that whenever the kids need to or we, it can be a weekend stuff that we just take out the pool every weekend we yeah. fill up the pools and we just buy some snacks and then just let them have a pool day that they don't have to go out there at all no concern yeah they don't have to go to any danger that they can just have a fun day in their community without, without have to get hurt or being threatened yeah i think that's a smart move yeah this street is love lane love lane yeah and this in this area is pick stock pick stock yeah pick stock this is our sweet lovely lane yeah And you told me this, there's, there's been crime committed here. Yes. Whereabouts in particular, just all over the street? Well, two at the, two at the one spot, which is right here. A little bit after this lamp post. And they were shot? Shot in the head and killed. Daytime, nighttime? Daytime. And the people were from this community? Well, it was from other communities. Well, you see that stain right there? It's like the stain cannot move. What, the stain on the street? Yeah, right there was where the two victims, and a little bit up more is where the other um, victim has been shot to death. One so it's, it's gun then, crime yeah, is the problem. Gun. And they told me that at a Chinese store there was a killing. Yeah, this is the Chinese store. But they closed it down because this Chinese has been robbed umpteen times. They have robbed them about, what, five times? Then they said that's enough. Yeah. So they closed it down. Ming, like, Ming Ming shop. Ming shop. So, for example, if you're from your community and you cross over, how far away is the enemy? Well, the, the enemy, we have the, um, the area, like, we call it Kelly Street. It's right... Go straight, you take a right, you go straight up, and that's where you, you will meet Kelly yes. Street. And that's the Kelly Street area. And then you come around from the Kelly Street area. I think you guys are going there right now. There, They call it the Majestic Alley. Okay. And, what, and what about this? Like, what's 20 deep? Well, this, or they, for call, life. they call this um, the, uh, a blood zone, like red yeah. bloods. But no... Nobody that is 20 deep, well, you know kids when they are young, they just... They do anything. Yeah. That is the house that I used to live in. But right there. On the left here. Yeah. So, but already yeah, right now, we're out of jungle right now. Yeah. This is Victoria Street. Seems like such a quiet yeah. street. But it's not always quiet. I guess looks can be deceiving. deceiving. And there we are, lovely lane. Yeah. I wonder when the person named the street, if they knew, <laughs> one day it might not be too lovely. lovely. <laughs> but one day it may return yeah. and get back to the point in which it's lovely. Fix it up. Yeah, because it's for sale now. How My much dream. would something like this sell for? Well, I, I didn't know the estimate. I haven't asked, but it's about, about 50000 These are a lot of work. Yeah. But it's a big property. Yeah. And it's still strong. You can see the structure of it. It's strong. And I see that the kids just hang out there now. Yep. So that concludes my time here in Jungle. I met some wonderful people. I think uh, you viewers, as a community, hello. What is this? Your, your money. What is this? Twenty-five and twenty-five. Wow. You're not smoking. You're too young. You know. Why not? There's a camera. Say hello here. Hold the camera. Hold it like this. Now talk. Wow. You got up me. <laughs> we'll talk. Hey. I I did it. Yeah. <laughs> I I did it. I'm a sister. Yeah. So that's it. And uh, your shoes are on backwards, my friend. Your shoes are on backwards. Backwards.
Where I'm come from, Canada. So that's it. It's a wrap. Conclusion for today's video. We'll see you again tomorrow in a new video. So see you then. Goodbye. I like this, look. Bling bling. You got one? No, I don't have one. Look, I have one here. See the cross? Like yours. I don't got no You got a ring, you got a bracelet. Why you keep putting your shoes on backwards? Yeah, that's better. Alright, my my new friends. Okay, have a good day. Say have a nice day. Bye bye.